Welcome back, said guys. We are back. This ain't the end, then. Haha, <laughs> don't listen to that motherfucker in the two seconds later. Not even a second later. Um, I had to use my hotspot to download the update to the game. That's why this was not here. Bonus level! Farewell! Alright, here we go. I don't, uh, I don't think I ever played this. Was this a bonus level in the... the first game? Hmm. They got a soldier strapped to the explosive. <laughs> That's why. Sid. Sure is a hairy fella. She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. The hell? gonna stop. It's gonna be a dud. was amazing. That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking why are If you want to see more go to Iraq. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not sure your mom would say. <laughs> when she asked me to get rid of my junk, she never specified. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you, if you see anything see else to trash, trash, help a girl help out, out and chuck, chuck it on the pile over there. She's gonna be the type of person who can't throw things out. I'm like that too. Even if it's like junk, I'm like, no, I need that. I'm like that. I mean, I'm probably a hoarder. It feels like, it feels like I've spent half, half my life playing in this room. room. <laughs> probably, probably because I have. I can't, I can't believe those days are over. I thought that said DNC for a second. <laughs> In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? Bonus episode, farewell. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. Alrighty. One long last look around this place. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. Rest in pieces, doll. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. You beat me. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Alright, that's not trash. Alrighty, concert tickets for the drums. This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. Wait, is that what the con is that what the band's we called? We're supposed to see another show next month. But How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. 
<laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Totally. Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. Fresh. Seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Alrighty, that isn't trash either. Alrighty, let's see. Mm -hmm. Trash. You better not be thinking. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> Unless she threw one fucking thing away. Band trading cards. Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? <laughs> you mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. I guess these really are pieces of our past. <laughs> what the hell? So is this whole room. Alright, I think that's it. Let's talk to her now. Hey, did you see my dad's camera yet? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I 
could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Uh. Let's tell her now. It's not good to lie. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's. I. don't know how to. Shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future of Wayfarer! <laughs> we have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bluebeard and Law Max Silver! You are such <laughs> I should make a video for me from my past. I should start tonight. I'm like, listen to it eight years later or something. In eight years, I'll be 27, I think. I think I know what eight year old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Yeah, I'll be 27 in eight years. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling me to mm -hmm. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where can it be? Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Where's the school supplies? Oh, this.
<gasps> Treasure map. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic. Oh. Why did we do that to Maybe ourselves? Maybe it's mixed because in we were eight years old, old and the box? attic was the scariest place we could think of. Why is there two people talking at once? Your attic is still terrifying. It's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears, then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head Lily to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. Maybe we'll meet I should check those. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver ride again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, I might as well have one final pirate adventure. Was it like buggy or something? Because why was she talking and she was talking in her head? Okay. Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Really? What the fuck? There it is. The dark cavern. Wow. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Box. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. <laughs> Almost there. I just need a few more inches. I think that should be tall enough. Probably gonna fucking fall. There's a ton of stuff up here. How oh, yeah. am Did she sneak up yeah, here somehow yes. without this entry? Did she like go through a window? Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. I think I can squeeze through now.
It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Your head's probably bleeding, but you did. One step closer. You're telling me you can't fit through there? Are you serious? This desk's pretty heavy. Glad this thing is empty. How the heck would you get all this up here with through that little tiny door? Dude, I wouldn't even push or pull yes. any of this shit. I'd literally climb over everything. She did this the extreme freaking complicated way. You were so small and skinny, you could climb over everything. Now she's probably dressed up like the boogeyman or something. Gonna get jump scared. It's not this easy. It's fucking something's gonna happen. God, this thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And Spiders. Ha <laughs> ha! I have you now, Skellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Are you just watching me up there, Creeper? I'm just getting some light. This cavern is even darker than I remembered. Did you conquer your fears? You could say the heck. Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. How could she hear you through the window from all the way down there? Dude, you did it! No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Chloe, yar. 
and ho. Perfect. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot or er, peg on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrrr! One amulet coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes. Damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. Thanks, Max. Time to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that treasure is ours. I never understood why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's rum for me. Do you drink this? Yar. No, not really. I had to fish an empty bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it... How I lost my magnifying glass privileges. Great art is never appreciated. so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. These games we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this all selfish of me? Why is this making me feel more guilty about leaving? How am I going What's up, dude? Bro. Don't you mean, sis? Maybe I meant nerd. Door. Punks are cool. Good talk. Score. One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Close. Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were going to be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. <sighs> Would 
you like to do the honors, Wong Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. see. Looks like three windows. I think the drawing should turn the real world into something priority. Oh, I think I figured it out. Got it. <laughs> yes, you rock. Where is it? Here? Go to your left. Okay, take a step left. <sighs> no, wrong way. You said left. You're left, asshole. No, you're right. I'm right? What? Oh, oh my god, no, I'm so stupid. I'm wrong? Just go that way. <laughs> Perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. Is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. Wish I had a dad like that. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Bloody Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary. I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed, and always remember, the real treasury. Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. 
Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, Maxine. <laughs> Get to read all that shit if you want. Don't care. <laughs> How about mine? What did I read? This is so Chloe. You were really sweet. Oh man, I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Just don't know. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, uh oh. Remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I think he died. I'm gonna draw something. Thought he left while he was like cooking or something. I don't remember. He was in the kitchen, I thought. Much better. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. Recreate this photo with Chloe now. Yes. Pose for a photo with that. Okay, tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. <laughs> like this? <laughs> It's perfect. Stop moving. Really cute, Chloe. You're not so bad yourself. A time capsule was such a good idea. I know, right? Where'd you? I can't decide which version of this photo I like better. I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but if Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. computer. Shit. What happened? Something so minor. Her mom is exaggerating. I bet Marissa told her that I... I'm telling you, it's stupid. Come on. You've got to tell me what happened. I'm your best friend. And you read my feelings too well. I almost told you upstairs. Man, none of this would have happened if I had you around. I wouldn't care what anyone said. Uh, sorry. I don't mean it's your fault. Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone, so I turned up her Bunsen burner insides. Just a little. What? No one got hurt, not even close. You know that I... 
know what I'm doing. Chloe. What do you mean she wouldn't leave you alone? She was making fun of my clothes and... calling me a scholarship kid. That really sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Max. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. This is so silly. This jawbreaker is going to last forever? Just like our friendship. Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pushing this alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once her parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You just fucking tell her. Staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She's already got enough drama from Blackwell. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um... My family's moving to Seattle. Really soon. Hey. In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. I should have just told you earlier. God, I feel so stupid. Max, I said it was okay. I was trying to tell you this morning, but... But I totally distracted you with the pirate tape. Success. Seriously? I didn't want this hanging over us all day. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so... I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together... ...having fun. We'll keep in touch, okay? And visit, and maybe we'll move back. Who knows? Chill out. We can go to college together. It's gonna be fine. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. It's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do. Uh -huh.
Dude, these games are fucking sad, dude. Can't you take pieces of shit like my dad instead? See, they, I know it's a game, but in reality, they always take the good ones. They leave the pieces of shit here. Because in reality, I've lost four amazing great people. Three were such young ages, like lily teens. I lost one recent, not long ago. Then my grandpa. And just thinking, a piece of shit, like my father, still roams this world. I know it's not good to say it, but still. Wow, what a terrible time to leave. No hug goodbye or nothing. How sad, dude. Hey, come on, this Max. Cause I want to leave you one more message. Cause I know this was the absolute worst time for me to go. Thought maybe if you heard my voice, it could be a little bit like I was there. I don't know, maybe this was a dumb idea. I would give anything to be with you now. So hard trying to say what I'm thinking if I could just see it. But we'll get good at it. Good at it. We'll write and talk all the time. And then you'll come visit and it'll be like I never left. I mean, you don't have to worry about anything changing. You're dealing with so much other stuff. You don't deserve any of this. Fine, uh, listen, even if I know, ever, uh, if we're moving for good, huh? even if we're moving for good, idiot. We're always together, okay? Even when we're apart. We're still next to Chloe. 40 seconds on the clock. I will always, always love you. Goodbye. Guys, that was Max, did you hear? Dude, how fucking sad though. I'm gonna have to make like a, a minute video of saying goodbye and like the outro and shit. Oh.
All right, everyone, that was it. Exit. That was fucking sad as shit. Unbelievable. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the series. Um, these games are very fucking devastating. I cried through the first game. I don't know if you guys heard me. I tried hiding my emotions. This one was fucking sad as shit. Um, ah, um, sucks losing people, honestly. It, it feels fucking terrible. It feels like you've lost a part of yourself. Um, but yeah, uh, it's 7.30. Maybe I can take like a half an hour nap. I'm not sure if that'll go well. I'll probably just stay up and shower. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Um, I don't know how much space I still have left. Because I still have Life is Strange 2. And then the... I don't know if there's another one after that, but I know True Colors. Uh, that's possibly the one after 2. I'll have to look. Uh, but yeah. Please like and subscribe, everyone. <laughs> Like and subscribe, not stutter or whatever. But uh, yeah, until next time, goodbye everybody.